because the junket operator has its own uh, cage. Uh, that's the uh, 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 cashier. And uh, so we, we have no visibility on the transaction of a junket operator's cage between the junket operator and the player, Your Honor. So, hindi natin alam kung na in cash ba ito, nasa account ng junket operator. We, we don't know. Your, your uh, solaire does not know. Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. But in our record, uh, that amount was transferred to them. So, kumbaga, napasa na sa kanila, hindi nyo na alam. Uh, in effect. Y- Yes, uh, Your Honor. Okay. Junket Operator A is a Filipino registered junket operator or is it a foreign entity? It, it's a foreign entity, Your Honor. One of the biggest junket operators in the world uh, operating in Macau and other gaming uh, centers, Your Honor. I'm going to ask uh, Attorney Abad next. No? Have you written junket operator A and told them 900 million pesos worth of Bangladesh's money is with you. Nasabi niyo po yun? Uh, we did, Your Honor. And was there a response? Uh, y- yes, Your Honor. They said uh, they've been played out and they said uh, we told them that you will be called to a hearing and you'll be asked to explain. And they said uh, they will explain when called, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, if we can invite those junket operators. When they said they were paid out, does that mean they encashed it already? Sabi mo, they were paid out? Uh, that, that's what they said. W- what does that term mean, paid out? Uh, that it's no longer with them, Your Honor. So, sinasabi po nila, nagalaw na rin nila yung perang yun? Uh, that's how I understand it, Your Honor, yes. Attorney Abad, do we have any hold on uh, these foreign corporations that may be in possession of stolen money from another country? Meron, bang, meron ba sa batas natin na pwedeng... Matigil yung kanilang account, ma- ma-freeze yung, yung, yung kanilang uh, mga operations dahil sa ating batas, or wala tayong habol sa kanila? Uh, well, your, your Honor, if we can identify that the money went into this uh, junket operators, then the same could be frozen. However, uh, when we filed, well, in fact, we, we already filed a petition to freeze the account of Bloomberry. And uh, because based on our investigation, we were able to identify only up to Bloomberry. So after Bloomberry, we didn't know where the money went. But they're, they're telling us now it went to junket operator A. Did they withhold that information previously? Or uh, was that always, uh, were you upfront with that information, we're Attorney just, Tan? We're just hearing it for the first time, uh, Your Honor. So okay. Uh, I'm sorry. That, uh, that's not correct, Your Honor. Last week, uh, uh, March 22, we submitted a response. Uh, Amlak wrote us and say, where is Wei Kang Shu? Can you give us information on him and the players under him? And we responded, Your Honor, in the manner that we responded to uh, Pagkor. And we gave the same details, Your Honor, uh, correcting the mistake and giving them the details of all the transactions that we've submitted to this committee. That was March uh, 22. Uh, Attorney Abad, can you kindly check your records if, uh, if yes, this sir, information was given? We filed the petition for freeze order against Bloomberg's account much earlier, Your Honor. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we filed it on March... Um, <coughs> I think March, March 11, Your Honor. But, Attorney, if you had information on March 22 that there was a, another account that this money went to, then you could have also filed a freeze order on that account because then that would compel these junket operators to at least uh, show up and cooperate with your investigation. Well, that's what we did, Your Honor. Uh, after we filed the petition for freeze against Bloomberry's account, we wrote, yeah, um, uh, Attorney Tan is correct when he said that we wrote um, Bloomberry to get information on all those junket operators. And yes, we, we, we received a reply from, uh, from Bloomberry, but, uh, and we are in the process of dissecting these reports from, from Bloomberry, Your Honor. Okay. Attorney Abad, please act on this information. Uh, because if the money is not... Kailangan natin habulin yung pera, no? Kasi... 81 million dollars to na involve the mga Pilipino sa pagnanakaw sa Bangladesh. I mean, clearly, I'm not saying who exactly is involved, but we're sure Filipinos are involved. At nakakahiya talaga na, you know, yung perang yan, 
baka nasa sistema natin, kailangan nating talagang ibalik yan. So, please please um, use that information of Attorney Tan. You don't want to mention that name, but you, it is already with the AMLC. Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. We don't want to mention it in public because they're operating on okay. you know, regular course. Okay. Uh, uh, AMLC will uh, investigate. Uh, I'd like to ask just Maidas. Uh, uh, my, um, Attorney Nepomuseno, you know my questions already. Nung pumasok yung pera sa inyo, ano nangyari sa pera? Um, yes, uh, Your Honor, in the case of uh, Maidas Casino, um, we have appointed Eastern Hawaii as our uh, sub-agent. So, the, the, the money... It does not go to the account of uh, PIKI, which is our company. It goes to the account of uh, Eastern Hawaii. So, nakay, nakay na Mr. Wong pa rin. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Wong, magkano po yung... So, meron tayong 600 saka 18 na in, in cash na right now, hindi tayo nagkakasundo kung ano nangyari. Meron tayong 1.3 billion in solar na sabi po nila, umabot na sa foreign junket operator. Yung pera po na pumasok sa Maidas, nasa inyo pa po ba? Yung 401B uh, nasa uh, Eastern Hawaii Ratio Company, Casino, dandun po at dinero na 550 may natitira ko. Yung 450 po, binayaran sa akin utang. Dandun po. Pwede i-counted po yun. Anytime pwede i-submit po sa inyo kung nililipo. Sorry, ah. so yung 550... 550 million pesos. Dinaro? Oh, Dinaro po. Meaning, ginawang chips? Opo. Ginaw de chips po. Opo. Dinaro po. Okay. Nilalaro? Opo. Meaning, it's still being used? Opo. Hindi natin tinigil yung paggamit so, ng pera tinigil niya? po nung March 2. March 2. Tinigil po. So, magkano intact pa po? May, may magkano pa po yung intact? Yung natira po dun sa laro, More is nasa 14 million ba? Dollars? No, pesos po. 14? 4-0. Out of 550 million. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, out of 950 no, no, no. million. No, 1B po yun. Di ba? 400, 1 billion. Uh, 450 million po, binayarin sa utang ko po. Okay. Okay. In 550 po, may natira pa ho, 40 plus million pesos po. So you're saying may 40 million pang natitira. Oh, ano oh, nangyari oh. dun sa 510 million? Nilaro... So, at dinaro po, dinaro po. Pag nilalaro mo yung chips, hindi, hindi kasi ako familiar, pag nilalaro mo yung chips, kailangan mo i-incash yun, di ba? Para mat makuha mo yung bilang cash or nakuha nila bilang chips? Pag uh, pinasok, kukuha ko lang dead chips po. Yung okay. dead chips po, tawag sila raro. Pag nanalo ko sila, pwede ko din ako yung cash. Pero kung, kunyari, 1 million kinuha mo, naglaro ka ngayon, naging 1.5, yung 500, pwede ko kunin ng cash. Ah, so intact, yung 1 million, ibabalik ko. So, intact po ba yung chips worth 550 million? Hindi na po. Natalo na. po sila eh. Na mga nasa 40 million something po. Natalo sa Maidas. Opo, opo, opo. Okay. Pwede po i... Nasa record po ng PACOR, kung i-request nyo, pwede man po i-submit para makita po. Meaning, pwede pang ibalik yung pera? Yung 40 million plus po. Hindi, yung 510, actually, sa totoo lang, alam ko may utang siya sa'yo, pero kahit yun, galing yun sa nakaw na pere. Pero yung 450 po, inamin ko po, binayaran po. Kaya nga, so, Opo. Well, if, if 450 million po. Oo. Opo. But, if I'm not mistaken, if that is part of an illegal transaction, pwede yan makuha pa, di ba, attorney Abad? Is that right? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So, yung 450, inamin mo yun, nasa iyo pa. Opo. Okay. Yung 510, po, po, po. nilaro sa Maidas, which is under PAGCOR, pwede pa bang ibalik yun? I, I, I don't know the answer, uh, Mr. Manalastas. Um, considered as done transaction na kasi yun eh. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we will be chasing a lot of players uh, na, na natalo. So, but yeah. tama naman ang sinasabi ni Mr. Wong, no? 550 yes, yung nilaro. Yes, yes. 510 natalo sa casino, sa Maidas which is run by Paggor. And you're saying we cannot return that money. That's with the house, right? Nasa Paggor na yan, di ba? Um, nasa junket operator na. Which is Mr. Kim Wong? Yes. So nasa kanya yung, nasa kanya yung 510 million? Well, considered as done deal lang kasi yun eh. Um, it has been lost. So... Sorry ah, yung perang yan, may 510 million na laro, na talo, Nasa inyo po ba o nasa Maidas o nasa Pagkor? Kaya ano po yung, where, where is that cash? 
Ako na po magpaliwanag po. Opo, sige, go ahead. Yung junket po, kami po yung isa na nawin, nag-operate sa Maydas po. So, yung 550 million po, chinek in po. So, dinaro mga players po, paikot-ikot po, pag nanalo po sila, kung hindi rin, sinasabi ko po sa inyo po kanina, pag 1 million, nanalo 500, kinukuha nila. Pag natalo, nababawa sa man yung chip sila. So, may record po yan, kaya sa, sina, ano, ano ko po sa inyo, sinasaji ko po sa inyo, pakukuha natin sa pagko, nakamanifest naman kung sino, para isamit po sa committee nyo po. Okay. okay, we can do that definitely. Okay. No? Ang tanong ko, nasan okay. yung pera? Nasa Eastern Hawaii, nasa Pagor, nasa Maidas? Yung nasa 500, Eastern Hawaii po. Eastern Hawaii. But oh, yung sinasabi nyo yung pera 550, nasa oh. Eastern Hawaii But po. you're considering that a done transaction kasi nilaro na. Nilaro po. Okay. okay. May tanong ako, Attorney Abad. Alam ko, kung ma-establish na yung perang gamit mo, illegal ang pinanggalingan, balik-balik yung pera, di ba? I mean, for stolen goods. Alam ko parang ganoon, no? if I'm not mistaken. In this case, meron pang 1 billion po dyan na galing po sa illegal na transaction. Pwede po bang mahabol yung perang yan o hindi na siya mahabol? Um, that should be recovered, Your Honor. Uh, however, the problem is when we filed um, a petition to freeze the accounts of Eastern Hawaii where supposedly 1 billion pesos was transferred, um, at, the, at the time the freeze order was issued, Um, the account of Eastern Hawaii is left with nothing, Your Honor. Na zero na? Zero na. Nothing was frozen as far as the account of Eastern Hawaii is concerned. So, Mr. Wong, nalipat mo yung pera sa ibang account? Hindi po. Pinasok ko po sa sa Eastern Hawaii, tapos yung 200 million, binayaran ko po sa solar. Okay. Yung 200 million po, binayaran ko po sa utang ko. Okay. Sa bangko po. At yung 550? Hindi na rin po ngayon sa Soler. Eh, dito so, sa loob lang may itas po. Pwede okay. nyo nga po makuha na ikol ah, po. Kung nasa ang pera, oh, yun ang sinasabi mo. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Atoy niya ba, meron ba tayong legal recourse? And this is my last question, Mr. Chairman. Alam natin na this came from stolen money. May hacking or kung ano man nangyari, hindi yan pera nung limang tao na pinasok yung pera, hindi yan pera ni William Go. Hindi rin yan pera ni Philrem, hindi yan pera ni RCBC that came from Bangladesh. Aside from the cash, natitrace naman natin kung saan napunta yung pera. May legal recourse ba tayo na kuhanin ulit yung pera para maibalik natin sa Bangladesh? If we can identify your honor that the money is still there, then we can recover that. However, if uh, the money is no longer there or no longer available, no, it's there. Uh, Mr. Wong is uh, saying, "Nanjam pa, de ba, sir? Matitrace natin." But he, he he said that as far as the 550 million pesos is concerned, it's it has been checked in. I don't know what checked in means. Anyway, are our laws strong enough to recover that money? Yun yung last question ko. Kaya ba ng mga batas natin na ma-recover yung perang yan? Or may kakulangan yung batas natin, hindi na natin ma-recover kung nakapasok na sa mga kasino, nakapasok na sa ibang transaksyon, hindi na ma-recover o ma-recover? Kaya ba o hindi? Uh, well, there are remedies provided under the law. Under And that is law, one of the remedies, if I'm not mistaken. One of the remedies uh, provided under the law is the forfeiture of uh, any assets identified to be uh, related to un any unlawful activity or to a money laundering offense. So, under the AMLA, the AMLAC has the power to institute petition for civil forfeiture against all these properties or assets uh, that have been identified, uh, that are deemed related to unlawful activity. Thank you, Attorney Abad. And, of course, we're doing the hearing so people will know what really happened or people can judge for themselves kung talaga yung nangyari. But at the end of the day, yung proseso po ninyo will determine whether may babalik natin a part, whole, konte o karamihan ng pera na nanakaw. And we hope that you can really go through that process properly. And if you need the help of the Senate to change the laws or make things stronger, nandito naman ho kami na tutulong sa inyo. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Bam. No, just uh, an administrative before we go to Senator Coco na matagal lang nag-aantay, alam ko. Pero, Senator Bam, you, you made a request. I just want to clarify. You want to call to the hearing Correct me if I'm call to the hearing the junket operators. The representatives of the uh, junket operator in the Philippines. So they, for themselves, of, they of can which, tell us. Of which uh, Soler and Midas? No, just Soler. Soler. How many junket 
Just what operators one, do uh, you have? Attorney Tan, kindly um, tell the chairman. Uh, I suppose, Your Honor, you're referring to the junket operators identified in our report. There are two, Your Honor. So Mr. Chairman, persons. there are two. I, I would like to hear it from them where the money went. Because I think what's important is we recover the yes, money. Yes, yes. In fact, um, uh, when this hearing started, uh, I was under the impression that the 1.3.36 uh, was still frozen. So I said, said at least maybe there's 1.36 billion that we can still return to Bangladesh. But now I find out that it's been converted into chips and has been already um, uh, gambled. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tan, you can produce the two junket operators. Uh, we will, Your Honor. You will? Well, we, 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 we'll ask them to uh, come here, Your Honor, for the next hearing. The no, you tell me now because if, if it's needed, we can subpoena them. So you tell me whether you can or you cannot? Uh, maybe uh, they should be subpoenaed, Your Honor. You cannot require them? Well, when we invest... They are regular customers of yours? Y yes, sir. They operate inside our casino. For so if you say, if you don't go to the Senate, then we don't do business with you, then I suppose they will come. Uh, I hope In other so, words, my point is, don't you have a hold over them? We have a contract, Your Honor. Part of the contract says they should follow Philippine law, so. Okay, so. Sige, sige. Um, the Comsec is here, but could you supply the names and their uh, addresses? Yes, Your Honor. To the Comsec right after this hearing, so we can issue the y yes, subpoena. Uh, Senator Aquino, how about the one in my dust? No. Ah, no, that's uh, Kim Wong, no? Okay, that's, he's here already. Okay, I think that's very, very important for the public to know that um, the last remedy is a civil case, uh, attorney or bad, a civil case, not a criminal case for forfeiture of assets. Am I correct? Yes, uh, Your Honor, it's a civil forfeiture case, Your Honor. Civil forfeiture. And, uh, um, yes, Senator Aquino. Very, very quickly, are there efforts to invite Mr. Wei Kang Su. Who, who, who is, uh, is anyone, Mr. Wong? Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Before, before, you know, Ms. Ms. Abad, uh, I understand you talk to the uh, immigration authorities on the matter of Mr. Wei Kang Su. What was the latest uh, is by the immigration? Based on our um, query uh, with the Bureau of Immigration, the records would show that uh, from the time Mr. Wei Kang Su arrived in Manila sometime in 2015, I think April 2015, there's no record of departure. However, we received information that this Mr. Wei Kang Su probably has left the country via a private plane, Your Honor. That still goes suppose, through immigration, Mr. Chairman. I suppose if it's a private plane, you still have to go through immigration. But what did immigration say? Uh, they don't have a record of his departure, Your Honor. You don't have a record of his Mr. departure? Chairman. PI, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator uh, Kino. We, Mr. Wei Kang Su is a known person to Mr. Wong and to Maidas. Yes, I was getting to that. his telephone number, his yes. address. Na text nyo po ba si Mr. Wei Kang Su, Mr. Wong? I mean, nangyayari na to? Hindi ko pa nakakausap po. He didn't try to call Kasi you. ano, player po siya ni Gao, pero pwede ko pa, pa check po. Sige. Kasi can, nagtatago pa ako eh. Okay. Can, okay. can you kindly locate Mr. Wei Kang Su and the secretary, I'm sure, Opo. can um, subpoena him here also if he's still in the Philippines. Mr. Wong, if you can help us. Opo. Kung wala ko siya dito, papupuntay ko po. Okay. Thank you. Opo. The Comsec is hereby ordered to issue a subpoena for Mr. Wei Kang Su on the presumption that we have enough information and uh, Ms. Abad, it's incumbent upon you. Can we get a confirmation, a uh, second confirmation again from the immigration authorities as to whether they know the whereabouts of Mr. Wei Kang Su? We will, Your Honor. Uh, how about my desk? Can you tell us anything? Are you presenting my desk? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. 
Um, we have a prepared statement, Your Honor. No, 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 no. This is not. I'm not talking ah, about okay. the statement. I'm talking about Mr. Wei Kang Su. Ah, Do you have? No, Your Honor, because um, uh, the the presence of Mr. Wei Kang Su, if he plays in Midas, is actually pre-cleared by Eastern Hawaii. And once it is pre-cleared that it is established that uh, he in fact played, uh, they actually forward to the Pagor uh, branch manager aside in Midas a photocopy of his passport. So as uh, we have mentioned earlier, uh, I I believe that uh, Pagor will produce the records of Mr. Wei Kang Su if he in had had uh, played in Midas before. Okay, but I'm not too interested right now. I want a definitive answer. Does anybody know whether Mr. Wei Kang Su, you're operating the 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 casino, so is Mr. Wei Kang Su playing in your casinos right now? Um, sir, Mr. Chairman, um, I believe that uh, we have uh, we actually have signed an agreement of a sub agency agreement with Eastern Hawaii. And in, in our case, uh, it is uh, Eastern Hawaii who actually operates the... So in other words, you wouldn't know? Um, we wouldn't know uh, exactly. You operate a casino, but you don't know who goes in and out? Um, we have a record, Your Honor, that has been submitted. Okay, then. Let's not, let's not dilly-dally on this point. Um, anyway, Mr. Kim Wong, you said, uh, hahanapin niyo po. Opo. Okay. 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 Uh, now we go to Senator Coco Pimentel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, for Pagcor, uh, Mr. Manalastas, uh, you've, you've heard the explanation of Attorney Nipomuseno hiding under a sub-agency agreement. Uh, should you continue with such kind of an arrangement where it confuses the situation and people can hide uh, behind the agreements will you will you continue to allow this sir we um if i may we, we still derive income from such operations um what we cannot provide directly the the junket operators can offer so in a way uh, they still help in 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 um, in um, attracting big players from abroad the casino in uh, Maida's Hotel is PAGCOR operated? Yes, sir. So you put up that casino to compete with your own uh, flagship project, the Entertainment City? What was, what's the logic? Uh, putting up your own casino to compete with the casinos you have uh, incentivized to locate in uh, Pag Entertainment City? Um, sir, they have... Well, the... In the casino, we have different types of market. Um, Solaire has a uh, um, foreign market, which is the bigger group, and we cater to the locals also. Locals can play in Solaire. Is that right, Attorney Tan? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, so, I don't see the point. Anyway, uh, you better review the the logic behind you having a flagship pr project called Entertainment City, and then you are, you're supposed to protect that uh, project to make the uh, locators there uh, earn money, and then you, co you want to compete with them by putting up your own casino uh, just a couple of kilometers away. Anyway, uh, for Attorney Nipomuseno, you, in one breath you mentioned Eastern Hawaii and a certain Oriental uh, earlier, but what, is, what are those two entities and how are they related? Your Honor, Oriental Casino is actually the trade name of the junket room in Maida's Casino. And Eastern Hawaii is the sub-agent. Oriental Casino is the trade name of the junket room. Yes, Your so Honor. So that is the entity uh, with which uh, Pagcor has a contract. Tama? Because Pagcor operates the, the main casino. Tama po ba yan? Is that correct? Um, Your Honor, Pagcor has a contract with Prime Investment Korea Inc., uh -huh. our company, and we actually in turn have a sub-agency agreement with Eastern Hawaii. Okay, but you own the trade, uh, the trademark of Oriental Casino? It is owned by Eastern Hawaii, Your Honor, I believe. You don't know? 
Uh, I believe, Your Honor, it is owned by Eastern Hawaii. I know for a fact that it's being used in Midas Hotel and Casino. You don't care? You don't care to find out? Um, actually, uh, Your Honor, it's 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 owned by my uh, by Eastern Hawaii. Okay, uh, to Director Abad. Uh, against whom have we filed the uh, money laundering cases or complaints as of today? As of today, Your Honor, we have filed two criminal complaints. What, the first one is against. Uh, uh, Ms. Maya De Guito and the four uh, account holders and the second one is against uh, Mr. Kam Sin Wong aka Kim Wong and uh, Mr. Wei Kang Su, Your Honor. Seven, at least uh, against seven personalities. No? F yeah. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, and what is the basis of your case against Mr. Kim Wong? Is it because of the testimony of Maya De Guito that he was the one who told her to open the four fictitious accounts or is it because of the transfer of funds from Eastern Hawaii to his uh, personal account? Yes, Your Honor. It was based on the fact that he received money from Eastern Hawaii, which is, uh, as far as our investigation is concerned, um, part of the stolen funds from the Bangladesh Bank. So... You stated in the in one of our uh, earlier hearings that uh, it's important to that there is sh there should be knowledge no? For, uh, of the illegal source or the unlawful activity behind the behind the money. Uh, for case. so that means that Amlak is convinced that Mr. Kim Wong has knowledge of the illegal uh, source or the unlawful activity which generated the money transferred to his account. So, but he is, if you, if you, if you, if we put the events on a timeline, he is actually on the, on the ending, on the ending part. So, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why uh, an actor like Phil Rem, who is, uh, uh, if not in the middle, but at the beginning part of the timeline of the timeline, timeline of events cons uh, constituting money laundering, how come Phil Rem is, how come you do not attribute knowledge to Philrem because you did not even freeze uh, Philrem accounts you do, and you don't you didn't file a case against Philrem? Uh, well, as I've said earlier, Your Honor, the AMLAC files criminal complaint as evidence would warrant. And um, based on our initial investigation, early on we already found out that all those persons whom against whom we file criminal complaint, uh, uh, there's uh, there circumstances would show that they knew that those money, that the money transacted uh, came from the stolen funds. However, as far as the uh, uh, Philram is concerned, um, when we look at the transactions, initially it would appear that uh, these were uh, regular transactions as a remittance company. We, would, uh, uh, we, we saw that there were a lot of transactions coming in and out of uh, Philram's account. And so we would, at, at first we thought that uh, uh, this money that were remitted from the account of quote unquote William Sogo were also part of its daily uh, uh, of regular um, business, Your Honor. But as I've said, we haven't completed our investigation. Our investigation is st still ongoing and we are verifying certain facts, Your Honor. Yeah, I, I read the one news report which stated that Phil Rem has uh, 100,000 uh, transactions. Uh, but I don't know if it, that's a day or, or a month. but. The average uh, amount involved is five hundred dollars. So, so even if they have many transactions, if we look at the average amount, five hundred dollars, these particular transactions are not uh, maybe part of thousands of transactions. But from the amount, they are not usual because the average amount is five hundred dollars. Um, this. Uh Amounts may be unusual, but uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the past there were also relatively large transactions in, in the account that happened in the account of uh, Phil Ram, Your Honor. So why why did we at, why did uh, Amlak attribute knowledge on the part of Kim Wong, who is at the at, at the end of the timeline because the, that's the destination account, uh, PNB ba PNB account, isa kanya? 
Yes, Your Honor. Ah. So why do we at attribute knowledge on the part of Kim Wong and then we do not attribute knowledge on the part of Hilrem, which, which played a very crucial role in distributing, uh, in remitting the amounts? Because uh, based on uh, our investigation, Your Honor, it would appear that Mr. Kim Wong is one of the ultimate beneficiaries of this account. And considering the circumstances that attended the series of transfers uh, involving this money, it would appear that he knew from the start that the money is coming and that the money came from some unlawful activity, Your Honor. But as uh, in, in contrast, as far as Filler was concerned, at first it would appear that the money just passed through it as a remittance company. But I'm not saying at this point, Your Honor, that uh, um, Phil Rem is uh, co completely uh, innocent of all these things, Your Honor. But my point is, uh, is this. Eh? When you applied for a freeze order for the account of Kim Wong, you, st you still did not, you still have not heard the testimony that 